Hey everybody, some gadget guy here, and VR, we keep getting promised that VR and virtual reality is going to be super, super hot, and Oculus Rift, and Razer, and HTC, and Samsung, and yet we still see very few actual practical consumer-grade applications for getting VR technology into people's hands. And my good pals at LG sent over one of their VR kits. This isn't actually going to be sold to consumers in its current state, but it's sort of a fun, playful way to look at possibilities for virtual reality based on the Google Cardboard standard. Now, I wrote a short write-up on Google Cardboard recently because Google has just expanded their compatibility program for cardboard. What started out as just a funny way to strap a piece of cardboard to your face to simulate a virtual reality environment is now actually becoming a pretty well-respected developer platform for introducing consumers to virtual reality. It's a very cost-effective way to get VR tech into people's hands just so they can try it out. They can dip their toe in without having to spend hundreds of dollars on proprietary headsets. You just use the tech that's already built into your phone. And it's also just a shocking commentary on how powerful our phones are becoming that this type of technology even makes sense in the first place. But of course, that's me rambling on too much. We've already taken this out of the box. So let's take a quick look at the headset. Now, LG's solution here is built on Google Cardboard, but of course they're using a nice plastic to build this out of. They're not actually giving us little cardboard kits. We've got, of course, the, the lenses for the eyes. We've got a little adapter here just to kind of put the lenses far enough away from our face and from the phone screen, and then the actual shell which contains the phone. It's gonna take my G3 in white and pop that in right there. And then on the middle piece, we've got the little magnetic slide switch here, which helps you select items in Google Cardboard. We just line up this this middle piece with a little cutout for my nose there because I have a pretty decently sized schnoz. And then we take the piece with the lenses and we flip it around and uh, we've got these nice, these are like blinders, you know, these nice little uh, flares, these wings coming out at the side, which just helps us isolate our field of view, keep us focused on the screen there. Also block out light that might come in leaking from the sides, give you that sensation that you're sitting all by yourself in an empty movie theater. Uh, I'm just going to pop that down on top there and now we have a fully functional virtual reality headset unit. So of course you would need to have some sort of cutout on the back panel here just to make sure that you can still turn on the phone while it's in this virtual reality headset case. Just as we've got cutouts for the speaker vent and the headphone jack, make sure you can still feed yourself audio while the phone is docked. But we also have cutouts for the camera, the laser focus, and the dual LED flash. Interacting with optical content creation tools could also be an important step in future virtual reality systems. Maybe you can use your phone to stitch together better panoramic photos, or maybe you'll even be able to use the camera while you're interacting with some form of augmented reality system. Using the camera to see the world around you and then using the phone screen to overlay information as if you've got some sort of Robocop heads up display. Now it's really hard to show how this works when the lenses are in place, but essentially what Google Cardboard does is it splits up your screen. One of the advantages of actually having a higher resolution screen. You guys have heard me complain about super high resolution displays on phones and how they don't provide as much of a benefit as the extra horsepower and battery life drain that you might find on them. But this is one area where having those extra dots and extra pixels on the screen actually do make a difference because your eyes are so close to the screen and then the field of view is being magnified by lenses. This is what you'll see when you first fire up Google Cardboard. It's a series of apps that you can play with, some demos, some Google Earth, some fun little videos, just so you can get an early impression on what virtual reality might feel like. And you scan through these apps by tilting your head back and forth. That helps you flip through the menu of icons here. And when you're ready to select an app, you hit this little magnetic ring on the side and that's how you select which service you want to try out. So if we scan through to Windy Day and I hit this little button right there, it's going to fire up the Windy Day demo which is a cute little animated film, which then you can look around the world of the film. And it is kind of a trip because you can watch the action unfold directly in front of you, or you can look all the way around the world to see what else is going on in this little woodland creature's environment. After having played with 360 degree cameras like Kodak's SP360, it really is a head trip interacting with content which is designed for a more immersive environment, a more immersive experience. And again, for something that started off as such a fun, goofy developer toolkit, almost sort of a joke on Google's part, has actually turned into a pretty sophisticated experience. And when you're done using this as a VR viewer, you can take this top piece, flip it back around, and it folds up nice and compact. Now, obviously, LG's build here is still more of a fun, plasticky toy. Again, it's just one step improved over the original Google Cardboard mission, but it's a remarkably simple way to introduce someone into immersive and interactive content. And it's always funny watching someone try these on for the very first time because they'll put them in front of their face and then they'll just hold still.
will. And you kind of have to move them around to get them acclimated to the idea of not just looking forward to interact with content, but to look all around themselves or that something could be sneaking up behind them. And when we're able to start pairing these types of hardware solutions with the services like uh, YouTube's new 360 degree video service, I think we'll be in line for a really exciting explosion in consumer content creation. But the idea that you could take a two or $300 action camera like a GoPro or a Kodak, set it up while you're on vacation and get a full 360 degree video or photo that then someone can interact with on a headset style device is really compelling. And you can check out Google Cardboard for yourself, even if you don't have a Google Cardboard kit, you can at least see what it's going to do on your phone screen, splitting up the view for each eye. And you'll already be able to see which apps are compatible with the Google Cardboard system. Uh, very exciting as Google is looking to improve on the compatibility of different headsets and devices and the number of apps that developers can offer to that ecosystem. So folks, I really wanna thank my pals at LG for sending this my way. It's just been a really fun way to engage with this new service. And it's something that I hope we see more manufacturers doing. I know Samsung started this conversation by using the Note for their Gear VR setup. But knowing that there could be a variety of other solutions that are very cost effective and very easy to utilize should help take some of the consumer fear away from trying out virtual reality systems. So folks, I'll leave some links down below this video where you can get more info on Google Cardboard. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe for more videos and reviews like these. And I would not be able to continue producing on this channel if you all weren't out there sharing my videos with your family, friends on social sites like Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus and the Reddit. So please keep bringing more cool people to the party. Hit that thumbs up button and I will catch you all on the next video.